Rusty Quill presents The Magnus Archives Episode 170 Recollection through the fog sometimes. You feel not friendly. Familiar? The shape of you in my hand. I talk to you, don't I? We talk. What do we, what do we say? There's, there's something there, but I just can't see it. Anyway, nice to sit down, take a load off. Chair, of course. N- none of them are here. I've, I've been all over this house looking for a nice place to sit. I think. Is that what I was looking for? I, e- either way, this place is so huge, so empty. By the time you find your way to anything at all, you've probably earned a sit down. <laughs> I don't think there's anyone else here. Pro- probably never has been. Not that I can remember, at least. Is it my house? It must be, right? It must be my house, because why else would I be here? You don't just wander around other people's houses alone. You don't just... You don't just... Just just wander... Wander... What, What was I saying? Don't... Do you remember? You stole them, I suppose. Keep, keep stuff locked up in those little wheels. That's memory, isn't it? Computers used to be like you. Big whirring things with loads of uh, tape. They call that memory. But it's not. Not, not really. It's just numbers and, and... Maybe you're blank as well. Same as me. Are you? Can you remember what I've already said? Because I... I can't. The words that keep creeping away, like, like, like when, I, when, I, when I try to think back to focus, um, focus on, um, oh, 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 hello, what are you? I can't quite see. Do you feel familiar? Do I know you? Do we talk? I hope so. <laughs> It's good to talk with people. It's... Hmm. Oh, I I met someone. Did I tell you? He's... I I don't know. I like him. He doesn't like me, though. Not really. I don't blame him. I don't like me sometimes, and I am me. Plus, he's... he's, My my boss? Is that right? Either way. It's probably for the best. Wouldn't really be appropriate. You don't need to worry, I'm not doodling his name on my desk or anything. <laughs> his, uh, his, um, his, um, his name. Wait. Wait, what is his name? I don't... Wait, why, why, why can't I remember his name? His, his face, I don't... Where, where am I? This, this isn't my house. Hello? I don't like it here. I can't see anything with all this fog. There's, there's nothing out of the windows and it, it's, it's so cold. The fireplace is dead and the curtains... There are mirrors, but no... No, not mirrors. There's someone standing in them, but I don't... 
I don't know who... That face, who is, who is that? I need to sit down. Oh, hello. <laughs> Who are you then? Hmm. Hmm. Can't quite make out a, a tape recorder? <laughs> Can't remember the last time I used a blast from the past. Familiar. Well, it's good to have someone to talk to. Otherwise, you can go strange. You. I don't. Hmm. What was I saying? This. This chair oh, really isn't comfortable. I had to look around for better places to sit. Did I tell you that? But it's this big house. My house, I think. <laughs> Nowhere comfortable. So I suppose this is it. It is my house, isn't it? it must be. It must be. But I don't really remember. I'm just I'm so tired. It's hard to think when you're this tired. Hard to. Focus. No, 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 I'm not tight. That's just the fog. I, I can't see through the fog and it. it smells. What. what is that? Damp, sort of. chemical almost. I don't like it. Why does my house smell like that? It, it can't be my house. No, 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 my. My, my house doesn't smell like this. My house smells... It smells different. It's weird, isn't it? The smell can trigger memory so powerfully. Like this one, it, it makes me think of... I don't know. Is it a person? A place? No, no, people, people don't smell like that. Besides, I'm all alone. I'm all, I'm all alone. Why, why am I alone? I, sh I shouldn't be alone. There should be people. It's such a, such a big house. My house. There, mu there must be other people. People who care. Unless... Hello? Hello? All these rooms. I think they're the same as this one. I don't, I don't know why I decorate my house like this. I don't like it. I like... It's not my home. It can't be. Do I have a home? This, this place feels like it's all for me, I think. But I don't... I don't like it here. It can't be cheap living here. A house this big. I really need a job. I started lying on my CV. Did I tell you that? I didn't want to. I mean, I tried to be a good person, but we're really up against it, and I... I know they're gonna find me out. I just know it. They'll ask something, or I'll say something stupid, and then, and then they'll know. They'll know, and then... What am I doing? I can't afford a place like this. I need money, not just, not just for me, but for... For... Wait. Wait, no, it is... It is just me, isn't it? It's always been just me. No, 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 no that's not right. I, I'm not alone, no, not alone. There's, there's... John? John, John, John! John? John, I'm here, can you hear me? I can't... It's... It's his place, I... Where are you? I need you. I need, I need you, John. Where, where... Where did you go? Don't leave me. I can't do this on my own. Please. I'm not enough on my own. Alone. All, All alone. Oh, hello. What's this? 
Wow, retro. What are you up to, little buddy? Just listening? Uh, that's okay. It's nice to have someone to talk to. Maybe you can keep a better handle on things than me. It's this fog, you know? Makes it so hard to see. What was I saying? I feel like there's somewhere I need to be, but... But no, no, this is my house. <laughs> Where else would I need to be? I just... I wish I had more comfortable chairs. It would be nice to have somewhere relaxing to sit down. Rest a bit when mum's asleep. Did I tell you about my mum? We should try to keep quiet, actually, you know. Make sure not to wake her. The drugs, they, they hit her pretty hard, but if you make enough noise and she wakes up and... and yeah, it's not good. Not a good time. <laughs> I, I know she loves me. I, I know she does. But that doesn't make it easy. There's always so much to do, and I'm always forgetting something. I do try, you know? I mean, I really try to keep on top of things, but I'm just... I'm just so forgetful, and she... She... Sometimes I wonder if I forget things on purpose. Easier not to think about them, I guess. Easier to just... let them slip away. They can't hurt you if you don't think about them. They can't shout at you or call your names. And I always think of Mum's face when I've done something wrong, and I... Wait, wait, I don't, her face, I, I don't remember her face. Did, did she have a face? I don't know, she's a stupid Martin, of course she had a face. You just can't remember it because you, you're a bad son, because you left her to rot in. Where did she go? She didn't like it, I didn't like it. It smelled, it smelled like... Where, where am I? This isn't right. I shouldn't be here. I should be... Somewhere. Someone. That, there, there are people who trust me. People who love me, so why can't I remember them? Why, why can't I see them? Sasha. Yeah, 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 I remember there was... There was Sasha. I can see her face. No, no, wait, no. Not, not Sasha. Some, something else. The thing that isn't Sasha that, that took her and, and made her something else and her, her face, her, her face, I can, I can still see it, it's laughing, telling me that there's, there's nobody else, I'm alone. The only people who could ever stand to be around me are gone, even from my mind. What is this place? It's so cold, and I can't see anything through all this fog. <laughs> I must have left the window open, let it let, 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 let fog in. Oh, my heating bills must be through the roof. Stupid, I can't afford that. At least I've got a job now. Did I tell you I've got a job? I mean, the interview was weird. I, I don't really remember the man who talked to me. Just his eyes. They stared at me. Through me, and, and, and I knew that he knew what I had done. God, I was, I was so scared, but... Then he smiled and shook my hand. What was his name? He said I had the job, that he looked forward to working with me. I was still so scared I could barely move my arm. I was so terrified I'd let him down. And then I met John and... John, 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 John I'm here. John, I, I think I'm lost, I think, I don't... Oh, hello. What are you? Huh. Didn't even know I had a tape recorder. Do you still work, or...? Hmm. Yeah, seems like you're running all right. Hey, I should do some poetry. You could give it a little, little bit of that funky lo-fi goodness. All the cool poets love a bit of tapers, right? Maybe find somewhere different to sit, though. I hate these chairs. Don't even know where I got them. Did I tell you I've been writing poetry? Nothing much, really, just fragments, thoughts. I haven't written anything like it since I was a teenager, but my new job is a lot, and... I don't know. Something about that place, it just... It makes me feel weird. The, the sort of weird you have to just get out somehow. Maybe, 
Maybe I should do some open mics or something. I don't know. Just for me, really, I think. Oh, you, you want to hear some? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, okay, sure. Well, I can... No. No, wait, no, they're... They're gone. That's weird. I thought... I, I can feel them, but the words, they just... They just wash away. Hmm. I, I mean, <laughs> I suppose that's quite poetic, actually, isn't it? But there's nothing else there. I don't like this place. It's so cold, and, and the logs in the fireplace are damp from the mist. I don't know how I'd even light them. They, they smell really bad, like, like wet dirt. Makes me think of... Hmm. When I was nine, my granddad died. Did I tell you that? I went to the funeral and the coffin was so shiny. It was already sealed. But on top there was a photo of a young man. Someone who looked almost like my granddad, but it, it wasn't him. He wasn't... Finished? Not yet. No, and, and I suddenly began to panic because I, I was trying to remember what he looked like, his, his face, but I couldn't do it. And I knew I'd never see him again. He loved me and I couldn't even remember his face. It was, it was a horrid, drizzly morning that day and they put him in the ground and he, he smelled like earth. Cold, damp soil. What was I saying? Sorry, it's just this chair. It's so hard to concentrate when you're uncomfortable, isn't it? Now, I think... Hey, hang on. Where did you come from? A tape recorder? <laughs> well, you want me to give you a statement? I... But why? The eye is one. It can already see everything. It wouldn't need a... Wouldn't need it. Well, it's just nice to talk to someone, I guess. No one real ever really listens to me anyway. Well, they, they nod and respond and say, No, Martin, or not now, Martin, or leave it, Martin. But the funny thing is, I didn't ask them to do anything. I just, just wanted to see if they needed a hand. Is that me? Is, is that me? Martin? Martin, Martin, Martin. Doesn't sound right. But who else would I be? Whoever owns this house, I guess. It certainly doesn't seem like the sort of place that someone called Martin would live. Martin. It feels like a small name. One that wants to be warm and happy. Not like here. You know, I've wandered around all these rooms, and they all just make me feel alone. They scare me. Even when I find someone else, I feel alone. Did I tell you? I found someone else wandering around. They were all thin and grey. Faded. Like they'd been here for ages. I think they'd been crying, but... It's so hard to tell through the fog. I tried to talk to them, but it was just... Difficult. I asked who they were and they looked at me like they had no idea what I was talking about. What's your name? I said, your name? You must have a name. But they just shrugged and I then and, and they gestured at me like they wanted to know my name and I, I I couldn't tell them. I couldn't remember. Is this your house? I asked and they said they said yes. Then they stopped and, and shook their head. And then, and then they started to laugh quietly for a bit, and then they cried. And they wouldn't stop. I. They, they asked me who they were, if there was anyone looking for them, if there was anybody left who even cared, but I, I didn't know. I, I didn't know, and I, I. I ran away. I had to run away. I had to go and have a sit down, okay? I just, I just wish I'd have thought to buy some nicer chairs. Still, it's not like I've got guests coming, is it? 
the house is empty and, and honestly, I can't think of anyone in the world who would care if I lived or died. I'm scared. I think this fog is doing something to me. I can't. I'm losing myself and I, and I don't know if I mind. Maybe I deserve it. So much of what's behind the fog hurts. So much of it just makes me want to curl up with pain and embarrassment. And Maybe the fog's here because I want it here. Is that why I open the windows? Maybe I asked the fog to come. No. No, 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 that, no, no. That's not true. I, I, I remember hundreds. Thousands of, of lost souls wandering the halls. Hollow memories with eyes full of tears. I've seen them. They're all trying to remember, to, to recall, to picture someone, anyone who loves them. And their hearts are all full of fear. Afraid that those people are gone forever. That maybe, maybe they never existed at all. Why am I here? I fell behind. I was, I was too slow and, and, and the fog caught up. I was, I was following, always following, never leading, never leading. Why did he leave me behind? Did, it, did he? Who, he who, who are you? Who am John. John. John, yes. John, I remember him. I need, I need to keep him here. If he can find me, I... He, he knows enough, surely he knows enough to find me, but I can't. If I forget him, if, if I forget me, maybe, maybe there's nothing left to know. No one to find. Talking helps. Thank God you're here to listen. Just, just don't stop talking. You, you are Martin Blackwood. Yes, you, you didn't choose to be here. John is coming. I am Martin Blackwood, and I am not lonely anymore. I am not lonely anymore. I want to have friends. I, no, I have friends. I'm, I'm in love. I am in love, and I will not forget that. I will not forget. I am Martin, Martin. Black... What, John? Martin! Martin! Jo John, over here! Oh, Martin, hold on, I I'm coming, I just... Oh, Martin. Thank God, I, I was... I, I thought you were behind me. I thought you'd left me behind. Gone on without me. No, no never. No, never. I, I just... I, I didn't want to look too hard. I, I promised I wouldn't know you. And, and with the fog and, and all the rooms, I, I, I just... I lost you. I'm, I'm sorry. It's okay. No, I... I tried to use the... To know where you were, but it, it was... You, you were faint. It was so strange. It, it took me so long just to find you. John, it's okay. I promise it's okay. This place tried. It really did. And honestly, I... I wanted to believe it. But I didn't. This... place... it... it... My God. Yeah. M Martin, if you... did... if you wanted to forget... All of it. Stay here and just escape. Uh, I would understand. No. It's comforting here, leaving all those painful memories behind, but it's not a good comfort. It's, it's, it's the kind that makes you fade, makes you dim and distant. Okay. Okay, good. I, I just... I wanted to make sure that you knew what this place was. It's the lonely, John. It's me. Not anymore. No. No. Not anymore. The Magnus Archives is a podcast distributed by Rusty Quill and licensed under a Creative Commons Attribution Non-Commercial Share Alike 4.0 International License. 
Today's episode was written by Jonathan Sims, produced by Lori Ann Davis, and directed by Alexander J. Newell. It featured Alexander J. Newell as Martin Blackwood, and Jonathan Sims as the archivist. To subscribe, buy merchandise, or join our Patreon, visit rustyquill.com. Rate and review us online, tweet us at the Rusty Quill, visit us on Facebook or email us via mail at rustyquill.com. Join our community on the Discord via the website or on Reddit at r slash the Magnus Archives. Thanks for listening. Hi everyone, Alex here. I'd just like to take a moment to thank some of our patrons. Mackenzie Cummings, Elizabeth Boyer, Cordsy Cords, Ace of Artemis, Amanda Dalton, Becky S. Chapin, Lorek, Jessica Snyder, Young Brood, Sandra Fuchinovic, Kimberly, John Beagle, Nemo Nemiroff, Paula Salkeld, Sophia Anderson, Rainey, William Wald, Milana Tatarenko, Haley Morris, Elliot, Katie Barrowman, Bob Charlton, Rin M, T. Risa, Madison Mason, Charlie Nygaard, Jürgen Leitner, Grixkfrids, Andy Ewell, Henry Tudy, Ebony Daniels, Miss Natalie Catchpole, A Wild Son, Malediction, Alex, Dante Rowe, Katya, Eric Patterson and Lynn Coy, Harmony Mills, Ronnie Stewart. Thank you all. We really appreciate your support. If you'd like to join them, go to www.patreon.com forward slash rustyquill and take a look at our rewards.